Thank goodness for free stuff, specifically food. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... Clothes? Ah, perfect timing. I'll go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Make Leo telling it like it is. Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepard. It really does. So dashing. Oh, man. I want one. It's the garb of the Shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just admit it, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. Ah, uh, this is so cool. I like this outfit. I like having... Uh, it's not really a Man, cape. these clothes offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey we're about to undertake. It's not really a cape. I don't know what you would call this, but it has like a... Kind of like a cloak, but it's it not like... It looks like all the hype from the festival settled down. But now everyone's talking about the shepherd. Constantly interrupting me. Did you hear? Marlin's come down with the plague. Oh, that's unfortunate. But anyways, yeah, kind of like a cloak, but not really, because it's not like... I don't know. I don't know what you would call this exactly, but I like it. I like the outfit a lot. The Garb of the Shepherd. I believe we can get in from just going straight forward, but it looks like it wants me to go to the right somewhat. So I guess we should go to the right. Do do do. Oh, it wants me to go back to where I first caught the fox hellion. Ah, the shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. They constantly change the title that Alicia has. Some people say Princess Alicia, some people say Lady Alicia, and then that guy just said Lord Alicia. Even though I'm pretty sure that, you know, Lord and Lady are interchangeable terms, like, Lady and Lord have the same meaning just for different genders in this kind of deal. Saray, you came. Alicia. The shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Miklio. We all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. <laughs> I... 
I take it there's a Seraph present with you? If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a Seraph. His name is Miklio. <laughs> Miklio is not amused. Please find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim, and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? It's still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Is this actually meant to do something? Alicia? I can hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? <laughs> Alicia, we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. Saray, <laughs> uh, one more time. Yeah. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. They're nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. Looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! Legends are no mere fairy tales. Okay! Alicia, we're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care! I will. You too. Um, Saray? Looks like our explorer is all fired up.
So you have to block your senses for the Seraphim to be able to talk, I guess, talk through Sore, or just be able to talk in general. But how, like, breathing isn't a sense, isn't one of the five senses. You know, sensory implies the five senses, and breathing is not one of the five senses. So I don't see how holding your breath helps at all instead of, like, I don't know, like closing your nose so you can't smell, because smell is a sense, but breathing is not a sense. Ah, whatever. Maybe closing your mouth just so... You can close your... I was going to say closing your mouth because taste is a sense, but, you know, that doesn't really... You could close your... Close your mouth without breathing. I, I don't get it. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Mikleo? Didn't I tell you I wasn't going to let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> a clue for what? What are we looking for? Whatever, let's just go. Why are these guys talking through a gate? Can they not open the gate to talk? Anyways, that was a really long cutscene. Let's go see if we can find whatever it is we're supposed to be looking for and also grab the stat boost flower on our way out. So many saffron and chamomile and stuff. Man, Uncle Iroh would love it here. All of the tea he could make. Anyways, I've got a star on the minimap. That means that I have a destination, so let's get over there. I'm always happy to see the sparrow feathers. Good for business. Oh yeah, those uh, performers that I know. My friends told me that there are more that there are monsters in the underground aqueduct. Oh hey, speaking of them, here they are. Hey, it's the guy who sold me the pipe. Oh yeah, I heard about you. If we were to take that pipe from you for just 1000 gold, we'd look like we'd have serious credibility issues and we don't want that. We prepared a pretty hefty sum in addition for you in that there box. Take it with you. Sweet. A 10 gallon hat. Okay. It's not quite as swanky as that pipe of yours, but it's not but it's got a vintage look I'm sure you'll dig. I am not putting on a 10-gallon hat. Hope you'll do business with us again. All right, well, I got a 10-gallon hat. Awesome. The Sparrow Feathers wish you well. Oh, you're the one who is having problems at the festival, right? Yep, that was me. I'm also kind of the shepherd, in case you missed that. It sucks for the merchants. I didn't read fast enough. Chancellor Bartlow's sending the princess to Merlin. I couldn't read the last word. I gotta read faster. I'm normally good at reading fast. All of this chatter, like holy cow. Apparently I'm still just exploring Lady Lake. Uh, let's look over here. There's no star in my map, so I assume I need to go into like a different uh, section of the city where a star will appear on my map. Maybe I need to go into the uh, the sanctuary again. That is a, oh, nope, I'm supposed to be here. Oh no. That. Now I've grasped this area is quite well. Why? Watch it. There's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle, Hellion? The hell do you mean, turtles, Hellion? I'm just a turtles. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they Seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, brave new world that has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiven bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh, maps. Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the Celestial Record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks. It's a big help. Oh my goodness, I freaking hate turtles. I absolutely despise them. I hated them in Tales of Graces. Why are they back? They weren't in Zillia, were they? I'm pretty sure there were no turtles in Zillia that I can remember. So, if I'm remembering correctly, I have not played Zillia in a long while. It's been at least half a year, like six months since I played Zillia, I'd say. Maybe not six. Maybe more along four months. It's been a while. 
I don't remember there being any turtles. Like, I remember the plot of the game, not all the nitpicks of the game, like the small things. But, geez, if there were none in Zillia, why did they... Why were they in Graces and then skipped Zillia and then went to Zestiria? Why do they even exist? I hate turtles so much. The way they talk gets on my last nerve. Thank you. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. 